Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. In our today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make this animated infographic percentage bar in just PowerPoint. Here you can see that I have created two types of animation. For the first one, all the animations are appearing one after another and for the second one, it is appearing at the same time. I will show you every single steps that I have followed. So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's tutorial. Here I have already taken a blank slide. At first, we have to pick this hollow circle, holding the control shift from your keyboard, drag it over here, drag this yellow dot to make it a thinner one. Now go to format, from shape fill, change this color, from shape outline, select no outline. Holding the control shift, drag it to right, it will be duplicated, pick a rectangle shape cover this half portion holding the control button we have to select this two and from merge shape select intersect then from shape fill changes color to this and now what we can do holding the shift key drag it over the previous one holding the control button select this two press ctrl g to group now we can go for the animation part so go to animation Click on animation pane to look over animation status and to add the first animation from add animation select spin. After that from here go to effect option click on this drop down arrow and under this custom option change it to 120 degree increase the smooth end and press ok. So for this particular spin animation we should keep this on click and the duration 1 second. Now what I will do, select this object, holding the control shift, make it a bit smaller, place it here, press ctrl D to duplicate, bring it to here and press ctrl D to times more and we will have something like this. Now select all of them, place them here in the middle of our powerpoint slide. And now we can change the color of this half circle, just select and from shape will change the color. Do the same for this one, I'm selecting the half circle and changing its color. This is really simple, you just need to select the particular portion and change its color from shape fill. So after changing the color, select the second one, go to animation and from animation pane, go to effect option for the second animation, click on this drop down arrow and change it to 150 degree and press ok. Select the third one, go to effect option click on this drop down arrow change it to 90 degree and press ok we need to do the same for the last one go to effect option click on this drop down arrow and change it to 160 degree press ok so what i'll do now go to home pick a rectangle shape drag it over here to cover this colorful portion then to change the color of this rectangle go to format from shape fill change its color to white so that it matches with the background color and from shape outline select no outline. Now pick a text box, drag it over here. In this text box we have to add some percentage value. Now select all the text, change the font to TWCE and empty, bold, increase the font size. Change the font color so that it matches with the respective color. Make it center. Place it here in the middle. After that we need to pick another text box. Drag it over here. Add some title. Select all the text. Change the font to TWC and empty again. Increase the font size. Make it bold. Change the font color make it center take it a bit upward and middle holding ctrl shift drag it to down so it will be duplicated select all the text decrease the font size remove bold change the font color and here I will add some explanation text increase the text box size place it in the middle now holding the ctrl button we have to select this 3 and press ctrl G to group. Now press ctrl D to duplicate, bring it to here, 
press ctrl d two times more and we will have something like this from here you can easily change the color of this text just select and change the color so that it matches with the respected circle as this is really simple to change the color of this text and i don't think you will face any problem so to save your time here i am doing it in fast forward so now we can animate this group of text boxes at first select this one go to animation from add animation select zoom set start after previous and set the duration 0.25 seconds drag it to here after the first spin animation select the second spin animation set start after previous and increase the delay to 0.25 second select this text box from add animation select zoom set start after previous duration 0.25 second drag it over here select the third spin animation set start after previous and delay 0.25 second now you have to select the third text box from add animation select zoom set start after previous duration 0.25 second drag it to here select the last spin animation set start after previous and increase the delay to 0.25 second select the last text box from add animation select zoom and from here set start after previous duration 0.25 second so basically we are done with the animation and i'll go back to our previous slide from here i'll just copy this upper portion by pressing ctrl c and paste it here by pressing ctrl v now if you start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly but we are not done yet i will show you another trick so i will change the animation timing from the animation pane but let me take a new slide i'll just duplicate this one and here i'll make the changes at first select this second spin animation drag it over here set start with previous select the third one drag it over here set start with previous and select the last spin animation drag it over here set start with previous select the first zoom animation set start with previous and increase the delay 0.75 second select the second zoom animation set start with previous do the same for the third one set start with previous and do the same for the last one just set start with previous so now if you start the slideshow you can see that all the animations are appearing at a single time as always i have provided the download link of this particular template in the description of this video so you can download for free and if you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give a like for this video if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe Share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. We work so hard so please make sure you subscribe and like this video that really inspire us. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.